You put them in your backpack. I did, but I don't see them. Aha! There they are. Jack, please give those back. They're mine. Jack, please. Oh, no. Mama, Jack spilled his juice. Again. Would you mind wiping that up, Sugar Snap? I'm just finishing these dishes. Okay. I'm going outside to wait for the bus now, Mama. Did you get your pudding from the refrigerator? Oh, yeah, my pudding. I don't see it. It's in the green container. I found it! Could you please wipe off Jack's face while I answer the phone? <gasps> okay, Mama. <sighs> there. Jack, you're so messy. <laughs> Little brothers are a lot of trouble. <gasps> the bus! Goodbye, Nora. Thanks for your help. Have a good day at school. Bye, Mama! With my little eye, something that is blue. The sky's blue? Is that it? Nope. Is it my blue dress? No. Is it my ring? Nope. Ah, oh, I give up. So do I. Me too. <laughs> it's Henry's hat. Ah, oh. that was a good one, Nora. My turn. I spy with my little eye something that is purple. Is it Timothy's lunchbox? Good guess, but it's not his lunchbox. Hmm. Is it that mailbox? No, not the mailbox either. I give up. Me too. What is it? It's the jam on Nora's dress. What? Jam on my dress? Right there. See? It looks like someone's hand. Yuck! It's jam from Jack. <sighs> Good morning, everyone. We're going to have my family day at Hilltop School. I want each of you to make a poster about your family. I'll be able to draw lots of pictures on my poster with my new box of crayons. Wow! Ooh! You can use them too if you like. Oh no, the gold crayon's broken. So is the turquoise. Aww. They're all broken. 
broken. What happened? Jack dropped them on the floor. <sighs> What did you bring for dessert? Apple crisp. It's really good. I have a piece of cake. Do you want to trade? No, thanks. It's chocolate. Hmm. Okay. What do you have, Nora? Butterscotch pudding. I helped my mom make it. I like butterscotch pudding. I will trade you a chocolate chip cookie. Nope. I will trade you... Two chocolate chip cookies. Nope. We don't want to die. We just need to go one cookie before we die. We will trade you all of our cookies. Yeah, six cookies for butterscotch pudding. I'm not trading my pudding for anything. Oh! What's wrong? It doesn't taste like butterscotch. Yuck! It doesn't even taste like pudding! It doesn't look like pudding either. <laughs> oh! It's Jack's baby food! What? Huh? Baby food? I am not trading my cookies for baby food! Neither am I! <laughs> <sighs> I'm tired of having a little brother. Your parents let you ride on the roller coaster? Yes, it was lots of fun, especially when it went really fast. I'm drawing a picture of my dad and I riding our bikes. Oh! What are you drawing, Timothy? This is me and my parents when we went camping. Camping sounds like a lot of fun. The best part was when we got to paddle the canoe. I'm going to draw that, too. Do you want to come over to my house after school? We can do our posters together. Okay. There! I'm all done! Mom, Dad, and Kate and me on the teeter-totter. Where's Jack? I'm not drawing him on my poster. Why not? I'm tired of having a little brother. He's always crying or making a mess or breaking things. I think it would be fun to have a little brother. That's because you don't have one. Your mom is here, Timothy. Okay. into the kitchen while I make dinner. I can help you work on this later if you like. Okay. I wish I didn't have a little brother. <sighs> now it's worse. Huh? What's going on? Jack? I didn't know you could play pots and pans. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I think he wants you to join him. <laughs> hey, you're pretty good. <laughs> hey, 
<laughs> Don't forget the washboard. Thanks, Mama. <laughs> this is my favorite instrument. That's it, Jack. He's doing everything I'm doing, Mama. You two make quite a band. <laughs> and I have three brothers. They're all older than me. This is my brother Boris eating a bowl of ice cream. Um, Doris, why are there red spots all over him? That's what he looked like last summer when he had the chicken pox. This is a picture of my brother Horace. He had the chicken pox too. The doctor said he got them from Boris. And this is my other brother, Morris. Did he get chicken pox too? Yeah, he got them from Horace. The doctor said I was lucky I didn't get them. Thank you, Doris. I'm glad your brothers are all feeling better now. Frank and Frank, I think you're next. Okay. okay. Me first. No, me before you. Me first. Okay, we'll both go first. <laughs> I drew a picture of us riding in Dad's truck. I drew a picture of us riding in the truck with Dad, too. We are twins. Uh-huh. We were born at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Frank and Frank. Nora, would you like to tell us about your family next? Okay. I can hold that for you. Thank you, Mrs. Jenkins. This is a picture of my dad pushing me on the swing. I like to go really high. This is me helping Mama bake a pie. It was in the oven too long and smoke started to come out, but we ate it anyway. And here's my big sister Kate riding on a teeter-totter with me. She's really smart. She's in third grade. Who scribbled on your poster? My little brother, Jack. That's how he writes his name. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a picture of him making music. He likes loud music, just like I do. And this is him giving me a hug. Sometimes, little brothers can be a lot of fun. There. That's the last one. Hmm. Well, what do you know? Quick Sticks, children. Today we have a special guest for In the Spotlight. A special guest? I wonder who it is. Me too. Hey, oh, over right. here. <laughs> <gasps> I wonder who it could be, Thimbelina. Children, I would like you to welcome our guest for In the Spotlight. Hello, everyone. It's Henry. <gasps> Henry? Hi, Henry. Wow. I found this box in the school attic. And inside it, there are some very interesting things. What kind of things? What's in there? Yeah, what is in there? <laughs> I'll show you. Oh, great. Oh, boy. Wow. 
This box is called a time capsule. What's a time capsule? It holds special things that people put inside it a very long time ago. Why did they do that? So that people in the future, like us, would have fun finding it. Who made the time capsule? My Hilltop Kindergarten class. You used to teach kindergarten? No, I was a kid in kindergarten. Twenty-five years huh? ago. <gasps> Twenty-five years? That is a long time ago. Wow. I put this model airplane in the time capsule when I was a kid. Oh. oh. I flew this plane wherever I went. I had a whole collection of them, but I loved this one the most. Oh. Wow. Now, they don't make planes like this anymore. This one has an old-fashioned propeller on the front. I put all the pieces together myself and then painted the wings red. And this is a newspaper story about Hilltop School students planting a tree. Take a close look, boys and girls. Can you guess which tree that is? Um, I know. It's the music tree. That's right, Yoko. Uh, can any of you guess which little boy in this photo is me? Henry? You're right. You were little. And there's my favorite teacher, Miss Abercrombie. Gee, she looks like Mrs. Jenkins. That's because it is me. My name was Miss Abercrombie before I married Mr. Jenkins. Your favorite teacher was my favorite teacher, too. Oh, really? Why? Really? Can we make a time capsule, Mrs. Jenkins? I think that's a wonderful idea. I'd like each of you to think of something to put in our time capsule. What are you going to put in the time capsule, Yoko? Hmm. Maybe I will make something with my origami paper. I think I'm going to put in one of my shells from my collection. What are you going to put in the time capsule, Lily? I don't know. Something special. Henry? Yes, Lily? I want to put something special in the time capsule, but I'm not sure what would be special enough. Well, I put this in because I loved airplanes, and this one was my favorite. I have a lot of dollies at home, but Thimbelina is my favorite. We fly through the yard and smell flowers together, and she listens to me when I talk to her. She is very special. Do you think I could put her in the time capsule? If you want to, Lily. She is very special. Thanks, Henry. You're welcome, Lily. And now, it's time for me to find a box for the next Hilltop School time capsule. to put my favorite ballet slippers in the time capsule. I put a piece of paper in this one that says, Grace wore these. They are lovely. Thank you, Grace. Fritz? This is a supersonic rocket ship. I want to fly one someday. Maybe when they open this time capsule, I'll be flying a real one. I wouldn't be surprised, Fritz. Who's next? I'm going to put this seashell in. It's called a moon snail shell. And when you put it up to your ear, it sounds like the ocean. That's wonderful, Timothy. I'm sure that one day other children will enjoy it, too. Can we go next, Mrs. Jenkins? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> 
We are putting in two cans of Franks and beans. Because we love beans. And Franks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, boys. Can I go next, Mrs. J? Certainly, Lily. This is Thimbelina. I'm putting her in the box because I wanted to put something special in. And she's my favorite dolly. Thank you, Lily. Yoko? I made this origami crane. I hope that people will always remember how to make them. I hope so too, Yoko. Anyone else? Yes, me, me, me! Go ahead, Nora. This is a noisemaker from my birthday party. When they find the time capsule, they can use this to celebrate. That's very thoughtful, Nora. Henry, would you mind taking a class photo before we put the lid on our time capsule? Well, sure, Mrs. Jenkins. I'm going to stand next to Mrs. Jenkins, like Henry did. Grace, come stand with me! Now, what do we say? Cheese! Take one last look, everyone. It's time to put on the lid, and then I'll take it up to the attic. And then somebody else will open it in 25 years and know what you were like in kindergarten. 25 years? That's a long time. Goodbye, Thimbelina. Reach it to the end of the hopscotch squares. Okay. Oh no. She looks sad. I'll race you to Lily. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Lily. Hi, Lily. Hi, Nora. Hi, Timothy. Do you want to play with us? No, thank you. I don't feel like playing. What's wrong, Lily? I don't have Thimbelina to play with, and I miss her. Well, I hear there's a curtain off the track. Uh-huh. Yep, I'll have that fixed in a jiffy. Thank you, Henry. Well, there are some wonderful paintings in this classroom. Oh, what are you painting, Lily? Thimbelina. Now, what's she doing? Flying through the forest like she used to do with me. Is there something wrong, Lily? I put my Thimbelina in the box and now I won't see her until I'm grown up like you. But that's a long time, isn't it? Henry? Do you think that a painting of a Thimbelina dolly is as special as my real Thimbelina? I sure do. Special enough to go into a time capsule? I'd say so. Henry, can I ask you something else? It's kind of a big favor. Sure you can, Lily. Do you think I could put my picture of Thimbelina in the box instead? I don't see why not. I'll take care of it right now. <sighs> Thank you, Henry. You're welcome, Lily. Now, are we all set to put this back upstairs? Yeah! Okay. Yeah, all ready. Wait! Is there something else, Lily? Yes! Wait one moment, please, Henry. Lily has reminded me of something we forgot the first time around. What's that? A picture of my good friend, Henry. Smile! <laughs> Cheese! Now, are we ready? Yes! Um, are you sure? Yes!
Thimbalina is the fastest! Not faster than my car. <laughs> Mine's even faster. <laughs> Fly, Thimbalina! Fly! 